Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. This is God's word, Lady Risa, and I welcome you all in Jesus' name. This prophetic word says you will notice a change in their attitude. And I know there is someone under the sound of my voice who have already started noticing this. I'm going to explain better after this prayer session. Can we begin with a word of prayer unto the Lord? Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of loved ones. We thank you for the gift of health. We thank you for your blessings upon us. We pray that you continue to take the glory. Thank you for your word today. We pray, Father, that it will manifest in our lives quickly in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, God is about to bless you so well. He's about to lift you and elevate you. That you will begin to notice the change in attitude of the people that are around you. It happens all the time. There are people that cannot accommodate the success of others. So when they see others begin to succeed, they turn against them. They are with you clapping and laughing and dancing and enjoying when you are a nobody. But the moment God starts blessing you, you don't see them no more. The moment you get married, they disappear from the scene. They begin to give you an attitude. The moment you get a new job, they begin to give you an attitude. The moment you receive a promotion, they begin to give you an attitude. The moment you start a new business, you launch a new program, they begin to give you an attitude. It's normal, but I want to tell you one thing that you must do. That's why I want you to watch this video to the end. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 31 verse 2, the Bible says, And Jacob noticed that Laban's attitude towards him was not what it had been. Laban used to be good to Jacob. Laban was Jacob's uncle and he was good to Jacob. But when Jacob began to succeed, had more cattle and more sheep and began to, his wealth began to increase, Laban's attitude towards him changed. That's why I'm telling you that there are some people that don't just know how to accommodate your success. The Bible says that, yet God has not allowed him to harm me. Now, this is uh, Jacob speaking. I don't want to read through the whole story. You can read it after this session because it's, it's a little long. So Jacob is telling uh, Laban's daughters that your, your father has, your father's attitude towards me has changed, but God has not allowed him to harm me. I'm about to tell you, I'm telling you right now that God will not allow them to harm you. The Bible says that Jacob gets to Laban's children that were now his wives and said to them, I see that your father's attitude towards me is not what it was before. But the God of my father has been with me. God is with you. Hallelujah. You know, I have, you know that I've worked for your father with all my strength. Yet your father has cheated me by changing my wages ten times. However, God has not allowed him to harm me. God will not let them harm you in the name of Jesus. You see, because it's dangerous when people's attitudes towards you begin to change. It's very dangerous. There are people who used to support my YouTube channel when it was still 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. But they just could not accommodate the growth at some point. It when it went to 7,000, 10,000, not 12,000, they begin to unsubscribe. Because it's in their nature. It's, it's a demonic influence. There are just some people that cannot accommodate the growth of others. They become jealous. They become envious. And their attitude begins to change. So what do you do? When you encounter such people, the first thing you have to do is create a distance. Leave them. Leave them. Make sure that you create a good distance in that relationship. Make sure you're no longer close to them because that is a sign that they can harm you at any time. When Jacob noticed that Laban's attitude has changed, he packed his back and he was going back to his father's homeland. Don't stay in a place where people don't like you. They might harm you. I pray that you receive this word with gladness. I pray that the Spirit of God expands more to you. I pray that God helps you to stay away from people that wants to harm you. I pray that God keeps them away from harming you. 
in the name of Jesus. I pray that God gives you wisdom in times like this. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Father, thank you for your word. Take the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Now may the Lord bless you, may he keep you, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. I love you yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Shalom.